Uh, hello, my name is Matthew, and I had the day off, and first thing this morning, over a cup of coffee, I sat down with the first part of the Figaro trilogy by Bio Marcus, Bio Marcus, however you say that. And I read The Barber of Seville, or The Pointless Precaution, a prose comedy in four acts, like I said, by Bio Marcus. And here are the characters. We have Count Almabiba, a Spanish nobleman, secret admirer of uh, Rosene. Bartholo, a doctor, Rosene's guardian. Rosine, a young woman of noble family, ward of Bartholo. Figaro, the famous Figaro, the barber of Seville. And then a few other characters. And it's a romantic comedy, a light screwball, uh, fast, fun-paced, um, kind of closed set play. Almost everything happens either inside a house or just outside of the house, and it has that ridiculous, light-hearted premise of uh, people falling in love uh, immediately, love at, love at first sight. And it begins with... Um, I have this out just because I always forget the names, but uh, Alma Biba, and he's outside the balcony, just creeping around, uh, waiting for Bart. Was it <laughs> Rosene? Waiting for Rosene to come out and enjoy uh, the, the moonlight and the night sky. And Figaro, the barber of Seville, he's walking by with a guitar, singing songs. He's writing lyrics as he's walking funny jokes about um, how the lyrics of a, a, a song don't really matter comes across this guy creeping around and uh, he, the, the, the guy that's uh, under the balcony is saying that uh, he was in Madrid he saw this beautiful woman he spent six months in search of her uh, found out that she went to Seville I love that this is all set in Spain and now he's found out where she lives, but she is uh, kind of imprisoned in this house, and he, he's trying to uh, figure out how to make contact. They kind of see each other through the windows, but they haven't talked yet. And Figaro, of course, knows the guardian of the house. He's uh, uh, the, the the doctor in this play. Everybody knows everybody else, and uh, Figaro decides that he's going to help this person. Um, um, make his match. So uh, Figaro is going to play the matchmaker, and we learned very quickly that uh, that the house is toxic. That, that this guardian is this old man who's imprisoned Rosene, and not only will not let her out of the house, but he has designs of a forced marriage. He becomes very quickly increasingly paranoid. Um, there, it's not typical precautions of, well, you don't want to go out late at night by yourself or anything like that. He wants to have this woman, this young girl, cloistered, uh, totally removed from society, have no contact. And so much of the comedy of the play uh, it, of, of course, is Figaro's involvement, but in a very short span of time, there's a lot of activity that happens in this house. They're uh, throwing throwing letters over the balcony. Figaro is... Um, this is supposed to be a completely locked up f fortress of a house. And the amount of people coming and going and hiding and... <laughs> uh, uh, people are in disguises. We have, uh, what's his name? Count Almabiba. I think he has three different disguises. Uh, he's uh, sort of like a bigger peasant type, and then he dresses up as a soldier, and he goes and he meets the garden, and they have their interaction. Later in the day, he dresses up again, goes back in. Uh, Figaro, who is this uh, doctor who owes like a hundred dollars, or hundred, um, it's not euros, but hundred bucks to um, the Guardian 
he starts just performing unnecessary medical procedures on everybody in the house, all the servants, and the cook, and the mule out back. He's giving people a sneezing powder and painkillers and poultices and bandages. And the guardian realizes he's racking up these medical bills to offset um, the debt that he owes. But he's, he's saying, you can't just keep doing all of these medical procedures. Meanwhile, the one servant is having a sneezing fit, and the other servant can't stay awake. And uh, their names, uh, in the play, they're, the two servants, it's Old Youthful, who's the old one, and then Wakeful, who's the sleepy one. So just really on-the-nose uh, slapstick humor. And this all goes back and forth. There's those ridiculous scenarios where people are sneaking out of, in and out of rooms, uh, or everybody will be in the same room um, whispering. There's uh, secret levels of deception happening between who's in disguise and which lie are we trying to uh, get by on now. Uh, Figaro at one point has the Guardian all wrapped up to have a shave just to close his eyes so someone else can pass a note like in the room while you know everything's happening in the room and it works so well as a play and you can imagine it on stage um, people are in the same room together just whispering as, as if uh, there's nothing suspicious about that and it's full of great characters uh, Figaro um, just uh, is incredibly witty and has those um, that has that like epigrammatic uh, way of speaking. Everything is a witticism and clever. He's like a bull in the china shop. Everything in this house and uh, in this guy's life just goes completely upside down. Um, the uh, yeah, the the young male lover and uh, the young lady of course um, do fall in love um, immediately uh, there's um, those typical almost end of the story setbacks um, that uh, you have the final quick reversal uh, the, the, um, the the subtitle of the play it's uh, the Barber of Seville or the pointless precaution and the pointless precaution is this um, song that's mentioned throughout the play and uh, you'll hear the lyrics of the song and it's called the pointless precaution and at the very end of it uh, the old guardian has been outwitted um, every, figaro has been his foil um, there's been a wedding ceremony. The notary is there. The magistrates are there. There's nothing that the guardian can do at this point. Uh, the two lovers in love have been married. And Figaro has one of those like end, end of the play, um, little end concluding speeches or that last line. And just says when you, when you want to stop if 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 your goal is to stop young love uh, it's a pointless precaution and the the way that it's all set up uh, has an end on a punchline and I love it I've read this a few times it's great fun um, I'll see uh, the the three plays are um, iconic. It's the Barber of Seville, The Marriage of Figaro, and The Guilty Mother. Um, they've been adapted to uh, operas, I, I think, um, I can't remember which one, but there's the Looney Tunes adaptation, which is great. Um, and yeah, it's, it's uh, just uh, a great way uh, to begin a day off uh, with The Barber of Seville. So let me know if you've read it. Uh, what, what you think. Uh, thank you for watching and leave a comment if you'd like.